everybody, it's Ross here from Tate Real Estate. Uh, we're going to talk about hot water heaters again and trying to extend the life of your hot water heater. Um, hot water heaters, especially natural gas ones, are heated from the bottom. Uh, it's a, basically a, a heating gas element underneath a tank, the tank. Um, and there's a lot of calcium buildup that takes place in there. So once a year, you should open up and drain the tank completely. So you Turn, the, turn your thermostat on to pilot, uh, and then you go ahead and hook up a garden hose and drain it into your flora drain. And you need to do that a few times, like flush it through, let it drain, flush it through, let it drain. Because the bottom of that tank will continue to fill up with calcium deposits over the years. So some of them, I've, I've seen some that are cut in half that, that have six, eight inches of calcium buildup in the bottom and the heat source comes from the bottom and then it has to heat through that and so it does two things it has a much more difficult time heating the water so it's not as efficient but it also um, puts a lot of strain on the bottom of the hot water tank and eventually it can fail and start to leak and then you need to, to replace it so by just draining that once a year you can get rid of those sediments that are in the bottom of the tank and then it will uh, stop from building up so most of hot water tanks now have a plastic valve like that on it. That's not great. Uh, they tend to get a little brittle and so they can leak over time. They also just don't uh, open as cleanly as uh, a, a, a ball valve does. This is a ball valve uh, and so I'm going to replace the old one with a new one like this so that it'll be more efficient. Um, again, put the pilot light on. I'm going to drain the tank out, pull that out, and put a new one in. Okay, I've got the old valve uh, taken out, and I'm going to put the new valve on. You can see that I've gone and, and put a stem inside there. I put some Teflon tape on it and some pipe dope, uh, and I flushed it out a few times, and there was a lot of sediment in there, but now it's out. Uh, that pail there, of course I used the garden hose uh, for it, but uh, now I'm using that just to catch any drips. This valve is not as good as this valve. A brass ball valve is definitely uh, better. So in the long run, I'm better off having this in here. This is a bit of a caution for you though. Sometimes these don't come out that easily. This one, it just unscrewed. Just put a pipe wrench on it and it twisted right out. But these do get brittle and sometimes they can crack inside there. So this isn't really a job for somebody who doesn't think they can take that on because I would have literally had to gone down there with a little chisel or a a screwdriver and chiseled out uh, the remainder of, of this uh, threaded piece and so uh, luckily for me I didn't have to do that and it did come out but it's something to caution you. It, it seems like it's pretty straightforward but if this breaks inside there then it can be a bit more of a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and put some Teflon tape on those threads and some pipe dope and then screw this on and it'll be good to go. So I've got the new valve uh, installed, uh, turned the water back on, made sure there's no leaks uh, now I can go ahead and turn the uh, thermostat back on. So just a reminder, when any time you're draining water out of a hot water tank, to always turn the thermostat on to pilot, so that that way it doesn't cut in when you're doing any of that work. Okay, thanks. Hey,